I continue work with the data tab. I hover over the data tab and start working with the units command. With the window that opens, you can specify the unit you want to work with. For example, whatever the unit I want to work with is meter, centimeter, inch, millimeter, you can make the whole program work with this unit by marking the box next to it. After selecting and clicking OK, all units in the software will be updated according to the unit you have selected. At the bottom there are different options or weights such as ton and kilogram. You can choose which one you want to work with, then select the OK option. Then update all the weight related units in the software according to the unit you selected. I want to work in millimeters because it is more precise. And I want to work in ton unit as I don't want to see too many digits. I choose the OK option and enter the data menu again. I click on the coefficients command. We should use the coefficients command to determine the values to be used in calculations. In fact, in the MaxSurf modular module, we determine which inputs will be used to determine the values obtained by hydrostatic calculations. In other words, since the reference change according to the values I set here, the hydrostatic values also change. What is the reason for the change? Let's start from beginning. For example, if I set the length of the boat as a waterline length, it will be different from the maximum length. Or if I calculate length between the perpendicular, that is if I set it as a distance between the aft perpendicular and the fore perpendicular, it will accept the distance as the max length. And it will calculate accordingly. Therefore, each of the inputs here must be determined according to the value you want to calculate. To start from beginning, if you want the coefficients for the length to be considered as a length between perpendicular, half perpendicular, and four perpendicular, you must mark this box. The second option is the length of the waterline where the boat floats. If you want the waterline where the boat flows to be considered as a length in the calculations, you must mark this option. If you want the third option to be considered as a distance between the stern and the farthest point of the boat, regardless of everything else, as a length value and used in the calculations, you must mark this box. Beam for coefficients options, let's start here. If you mark the first box, the program will accept the width value at the point where the water line where the boat follows is widest for the width value. Let's come to the second option, the width at the center of the boat of the water line where the boat is floating. If you mark this box, it will accept width of the water line in the middle of the boat where the boat is floating as a width value. Third option, if mark the width of the water line at which the boat is floating, at the level of the largest section will be considered the maximum width. In other words, the half width at the point where the largest cross-sectional area is located and the point where it intersects with the water line will be accepted as a width of the ball. Fourth option, max beam. In other words, if you want the width of the boat, where the width is greatest, to be used in calculations regardless of anything, you should mark this box. I'm coming to the left. I mean coefficients for the left. I'm starting from the top. If you select the greatest immerse step option, is the distance from the level of the water line where the boat is floating to the deepest point of the boat. So it is the largest draft value. Second option, immerse step emit sheets, the largest draft value in the middle of the boat. That is considering the midsection and the water line where the boat floats, it is the deepest point on the midsection.
Third option, immerse step at the largest section area. If we mark this option, the draft value at the point with the largest midsection area is ultimately determined. This time, I'm not saying the middle of the boat. There is no rule that the largest midship section area will always be in the middle of the boat. The draft value at the point with the largest midsection area is used in calculations. Fourth option, draft the baseline. The baseline doesn't always have to be lowest point of the boat. You must determine the baseline alignment yourself. If the baseline point was in the direction I must over, when I choose this option, the baseline alignment is in the middle of the ship. Let's move the window aside. It is a maximum direct value that the baseline can have in the middle of the ship. Fifth option, draft accents. If you want to specify the draft value in the frame of reference comment as value to be used in calculations, you must mark the box here. I want to mark this box. I will explain the frame of reference part later. I want the draft value that I will set to be used in calculations, not a different value. Let's come to the right. Sectional area for coefficients. You must choose between the largest midsection area or the midbot cross sectional area. I want to calculate over the largest midship section area because the largest section is mostly in the midship area of the boat. But are there any other cases? Of course there is. The midsection of the boat doesn't have to be with this point. You determine this. That's why I leave the largest midship section array option marked. Let's get to the bottom. Under the origin heading, you must specify where the LCB and LCF values will be displayed. 0.4 LCB and LCF. From the zero point option, if you want it to be at point zero, which you specified in the frame of reference section. If you want it to be in the middle of the boat, that is if you want the LCB and LCF values to be displayed from the middle of the boat, the from midships option should it be displayed from the F peak level or from the 4 peak level. Under a from middle of actual waterline option, show the current waterline from the center. Show from the stern of your waterline with a form up and of actual waterline option under it. Finally, the option from forwards and of actual waterline to show from the far point of the waterline. I want the LCB and LCF values to be displayed from the zero point that I will set for the boat with the frame of reference. Let's come to the side, direction. I accept the origin as a zero point. So, what's the point? Should this value be positive towards the beginning? So, I accepted this as 0. As we move towards the 4, should we move in the positive direction or should it move negatively towards the 4? Such as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. I want it to increase towards the 4. I choose the positive forward option. If I want to do the opposite, I would have chosen the positive towards the, the start. Measurement on one side. Here you determine how the measurement will be made. If you select the dimensional length option, it will calculate your LCB and LCF values in M. One below option, percentage of length for coefficients. Coefficients for length in percent. If you want to calculate LSF and LCB value as a percentage, you must mark the box here. I want to calculate in meters. For the area coefficient at the bottom, a beam and red for coefficients. Use coefficients for width and draft. Or does it calculate the area coefficients based on the width and red values in the midship section's areas? I find it more convenient for me to use with the width and the red value in the midship section areas for the area coefficient. If you have a different opinion, you can change it.
I'm quickly checking them all out now. I want to change the coefficient for the draft to grade this immerse step. I'm checking and there are no other changes I want to make here. Values you set in this window create the input that you use in the calculations you make in the modular module. Therefore, be sure to check here before calculating hydrostatic. Otherwise, your calculated values may mislead you. I choose OK. Then I come to the data menu. I'll skip the design grid and inclined sections comment for now. First of all, I would like to explain frame of reference comment. I click on the frame of reference comment. In the window that opens, I have to specify the coordinates axis set. In fact, the frame of reference may be most critical point of the modular module. If you get the zero point of the bot wrong, no matter which module of MaxSurf you enter, the value you get may be wrong for you. Because point zero is a different point than it should be. As a result, you get the results you get from a different position than it should be. Right side of the reference point continues as positive. Values to the left will also show as negative. If you don't get this point right, you are going to do everything wrong from start to finish. So be very careful here. I would like to explain the options under the longitudinal datum comment in order. Whatever box you mark here, on the x-axis, sets the zero point as location of that box. If you check the 4-peak option, 4-peak is considered as a zero point. If you select the midship option, the middle of the boat is considered zero. In the case that whichever you choose in the label section will be accepted as zero. Of perpendicular, I want to accept the perpendicular you set at the stern as point zero. Let's set the zero point for the y-axis. I choose the baseline option. I want the baseline line to be at the bottom. If you look at the baseline line, it is not at the bottom. At the moment, zero point is accepted here. If I did the calculations in this way, I would get wrong values. Or I wouldn't be right to say it's wrong. I wouldn't able to get the value I wanted. So what should I do so that it's at the bottom? I choose the find base option. This option will define the lowest point of the bot as the baseline line. The baseline line of the bot was 1201.2 mm high before. I mark it as bottom point with find base. Now we have to select the OK option. Then I will come to the data tab and frame of reference option. Baseline value is now considered zero. I can see it clearly in the preview. My baseline is now the lowest point. You have determined the DVL, that is the water line where the boat floats. The water line where the boat floats is 1200 millimeters. We set the DVL as 1200 millimeters. The DVL value is also positioned from the baseline. If I come to the other part, if you want a different reference point for the bot, you can use the other option and tick the other box. I want to use the baseline line. I don't want to set any reference point outside of it either. That's why I set other to zero. Baseline is now at zero and the water line where the float is also 1.2 meters above the baseline. Now, let's come back under the longitudinal datum heading. Aft perpendicular is selected. When I choose set the DVL option, the aft perpendicular point is determined at the stern as an extreme point of the waterline that intersects the surface. I choose set DVL for, for perpendicular. Point of the intersection with the surface at the waterline level was determined as a four perpendicular point. Currently the values here are not zero. After selecting the OK option, the aft perpendicular value will be displayed as zero. Midship value. With aft perpendicular, it automatically position it to be center of the four perpendicular point. I choose OK again. I come to the data and frame of reference option. My aft perpendicular value is now at the zero meters. 
my 4 perpendicular value 44.918 meters away from the F perpendicular. In the other part, the value is written in the F perpendicular part before saying OK for the last time. I want it to stay 0. I have now determined the reference points of the box. By the way, if you use the other option, MaxSurf will show extra values according to the coordinate point you have determined when you calculate. So, there will be two coordinate axis sets. If I had also entered values for other extra values, it would have been shown for the other position when I made calculations, both longitudinally and vertically. But the main process would be done according to the upper side. I see it says after perpendicular and baseline in label option. I define the reference point I wanted to define on the bot. There is not an extra you can do here. The reference point is very important. If you don't specify this correctly, none of the results you get will be the results you want and will mislead you. I choose OK and I have completed the frame of reference comment as well.